Hey fam, today I got some incredible story for you. This is what I'm talking about. This is the kind of people our Africa needs and I'm so proud to talk about this young lady. She's a South African student and her name is Apiwe Haishwayo. I am so sorry, my dear, for butchering your name. I always have to put this disclaimer <laughs> whenever I mispronounce people's names. So. Our girl just rejected an offer to study in the US on a scholarship that was paid for. And guess what she did instead? She said, I will study here in South Africa. i rather study here than go to the US because she believed, actually she said um, it's her mentor that advised her that and she completely agreed with that uh, recommendation. So that's why she stayed, she decided to stay in South Africa and study in uh, a university in South Africa. She said, the quality is as good here and plus here it will only take me a few years but in the US she would have studied for eight years versus in South Africa just in six years so she's like why would I waste another two years of my life when I can study in South Africa and the education I'll get from my own country is gonna be good if not better so well done kudos to her oh and by the way she achieved six distinction in her final metric exams at redford house the hills in pretoria and she has accepted to study anatomy so she is a bright student that's why she was getting the free scholarship that's why the u.s was happy to have her there right a u.s university but she decided as i said on staying in her own country so the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because our youth, most of our bright minds end up leaving the continent to go and find greener pastures, to find a better opportunity, better education somewhere else. And granted, you know, um, in most cases, it's out of necessity. It's because they don't see a way out. So we're not here to judge people that are in the diaspora, trying to make it, trying to find better opportunities, not at all. It's about, you know, what, how can we fix it now that you know we've already lost all those great minds and you know brilliant people um how do we make sure how do we ensure the next generation doesn't end up making that kind of decision doesn't end up uh, feeling like that's the only option they have. You create better universities, you create better circumstances for the youth so that they make a decision like this young lady, this bright mind, you know, if she didn't have that option or if she didn't feel like she'll find a good education in South Africa, she would have just taken up this opportunity, a scholarship, like it's for free, <laughs> come on, like who is going to say no to that? But the reason why she said no is because one, let's not forget her mentor, even though her mentor was not mentioned in this article, I want to say thank you for actually looking out for our girl and for actually making the step towards making our own continent better, making our own countries, for, like prioritizing our own selves and our own people. You know, when brain drain happens and our brightest minds leave us, what happens? We are just going to continue being in this horrible state that we are in. We need everybody, everybody on the continent has a reason to be here. Everybody has a gap that, you know, we're gonna fill in. So if we're losing out people here and there, it's not really beneficial to our people, right? Like when you think about it, like um, generally, like in a greater scale. So with that being said, I'm happy she decided to stay. And I, I really, really look forward to seeing what she will do with that incredible brain of hers and also i can't wait to hear how many people that she has inspired to actually stay where they are and fix the things that need to be fixed if not us then who if we're not gonna do it for our people who is going to do it so i'm just happy with her decision anyways fam let me know down below what your thoughts are about this incredible young lady's story i am on gilzal alam i'll see you on the next one stay blessed bye